Good morning, everyone. We're on a few seconds early. That's great. Join us here at the Neutral Zone. You got just me today, but that should be okay. We got a lot to talk about. I'm a man of wealth and taste I've been around for a long, long year So many men sold away And I was around when Jesus Christ Had his moment of doubt and pain Made damn sure that Pilate Washed his hands and sealed his face Good morning, everyone. Uh, this is the last time we're going to be in 2019 at the Neutral Zone because 2020 is just around the corner. In fact, a couple of days away. We were going to have music for you today, but at the very last minute, um, our musicians couldn't make it here. So you're stuck with me, which is okay with me. Um, I hope it's okay with you. Um, the Neutral Zone has been on now about a year and a half. And we have had some very interesting guests, I think. I hope you think. Um, the show was created with the idea that we could talk about all kinds of subjects and not fight. We watch the national scene and we start to wonder what's happened to America. Can't people talk and uh, look at issues and take all the partisan out of it and just be people and care about each other? And that's what we hope to do here. And um, I may change formats. We may not be on radio for more than maybe a month and then I may go to television because of things that go on even around here at the local stations, you know. Um, I am just at a point where, and I've been talking about stuff on this island a long time. Just a couple of days ago, I think it was Friday, uh, chair of the county council, Kelly King, was um, is no longer chair. Alice Lee is now chair. She may be a guest here soon. Kelly also. Um, but... The thing that I think is interesting is that the council reorganized its committees because of what's going on in the environment. And uh, when I first came here to the island and I was talking renewable energy long years ago, 1988, it was a struggle to get people's attention. In 1991, I formed a nonprofit called the Maui Arts and Music Association with the purpose of promoting art, music, and culture, and educating people about environmental solutions so we could be a self-sustainability model as Maui and really lead the world. People come here anyway from all over the world. Why not leave with more than just a suntan? And why not uh, really put Maui on the map as leaders in self-sustainability? Here we are all these years later, and they just formed a committee now Yes, it is crisis time. You know, it's the really truth. I remember when I was rebuilding my website and I did a little video in 2012. And I talk about having 2020 vision in 2012 to start and ignite this engine promoting art and music and using it as the attractor so that people will listen to ideas and could come together and implement solutions towards self-sustainability. And here we are now. It's going to be 2020 in uh, just a couple of days. I am uh, going to try to round up some enthusiasm with the current council people. I even have letters of, uh, of uh, commendation and all that stuff from uh, Alice Lee, from uh, the old mayor, from the head of the Visitors Bureau. 
but it's never ignited. So I'm hoping that we can do that now, attract larger sponsors, maybe even from the mainland, um, who recognize that we're overdue in all of us together, staying constantly visible and putting out our two cents about making this a better world. We've had guests on this show. In fact, we've had a, a few guests on this show that um, have solutions to some of the problems that we all talk about. We've even had council people on here, and I talk about it, and I mention it here, but it really hasn't taken hold. So that's what I think I'm going to be focusing on in the new year, is seeing if I can make this thing take hold, or I may just retire and start singing all the time, which could be fun. Um, I um, Today I'm going to put on some music that I have in my archive from... Uh, all these years, some of doing music, but I also have a couple of songs from friends who, quote, give me the rights to play them on the air. You know, there's always copyright law. And so when we play and stuff, they want to know we have the right to play the music. So we got that. Um, so let me just for a moment gather my wits. And I'm going to put on a song that... Um, well, this is, I, I think I'll wait on that one. I was going to play you Stardust Road. I don't know if we played all of Stardust Road before on the show, but when it was written, it wasn't written with the idea of Willie Nelson. But over the years, when I look at um, artists that would be a good compliment to me to do that song, I thought about Willie Nelson. And he lost the demo in his room. We went over in his round table. Before he stopped smoking pot, we smoked a uh, joint in his room with, may he rest in peace, a good mutual friend, uh, Jim Kimmel. Not from Late Night, but uh, Jim Kimmel from Maui. Jim was a champion of the Arantia book. He was also a champion and uh, that of marijuana. I hear we have a Pacalolo show coming up. And uh, so, you know, and times have changed. But some of the things I think a lot of the young people need to get ignited because I think, sadly, you can see the old people only react when we're in crisis. I think it's it's very telling that a young girl talking to the United Nations, suddenly everyone is saying, oh, she's right. Well, we should be ashamed of ourselves. We should be ashamed of ourselves for not going on this, even here on Maui, many, many years ago. Just like they should be ashamed about not having enough housing now and having a housing crisis and having homelessness. And by the way, these facilities here, no matter what anyone will tell you, there are many people out there that won't follow rules or there's also those that just, there is no room at some of these shelters, although everyone will tell you, we even had Tasha Kamo was on here, and I know she really believed that there was room at the shelter, but I had uh, experience helping someone. This guy was a loan officer and had some problem uh, in his marriage and suddenly found himself, you know, sometimes people get a TRO, a technical restraining order, and then violate it unknowingly and then spend time in jail. His life got turned upside down. And he couldn't find, there's no room at the shelter. And there's people with knives at night and he lost everything. And I have no people on Molokai. I am very, very unhappy with Molokai and very things that are going on over there. I am um, really, and Maui too. I really believe that more can be done you know, they, they say they want housing first and people have to um, do all the things they need to be able to get help. There are a lot of very uh, hurt people here on this island that need help. I mean, I remember late at night going next to the Salvation Army here in Kalalui and giving out blankets and things to people that really could use a hand up. And uh, I would like to see our community doing it in a in a more informal way, people really helping people and not just pointing to things that can help people. You know, I mean, that to me is kind of typical. That's why where the world is where it is now. You know, we all think that 
there's enough people doing the things that we need to do to solve all the problems. But it takes all of us, all of us. That means you and me in a very personal way. Well, I'm talking too much. I think we're going to play a song. I'm going to play a song called, let's see if you can figure out the name. This was never on an album. I can hear there's no still tracks to be added. I think we need to start with the chorus. Troubles I have found. Troubles I Have Found. That was written by a bass player named Jay Wolf. And uh, we were in the studio. God is going to age me. Well, not age me, but he's going to show you. I think it was 45, more than 45 years ago. We were in the studio, and he was um, putting together a song, and uh, he gave it to me to sing. And we never finished it out in the studio there um, another day. But you heard in the background, those were background singers that were singing with Natalie Cole. Well, I mean, she rest in peace. Natalie Cole. We were in a studio called Cherrywood Studios in Hollywood. And um, we had just come out of a, a recording. I, it was quite a crazy thing. Melanie, many remember her for brand new pair of roller skates, had a lot of other material, and she had a deal with Atlantic Records. And we were in the studio. We would spend a, a tremendous amount of time in the studio, and then Melanie wasn't showing up. The, the, the people at the record company were like, we're paying scale and double scale and all that stuff for all kinds of musicians. But I got to know these guys um, long ago. They were the traveling band. One of the guys there was Dave Doran, who used to be in uh, Iron Butterfly. Remember that group, Iron Butterfly? And uh, the drummer was a guy named Ken Park, who was playing with Donna Summer. May she also rest in peace. You know, when you're talking about 40 years ago, a lot of the players have uh, made it on to uh, a different place, you know? 
like Ram Das, our friend who just passed away. Ram Das was a wonderful guy. Um, you know, I also, many of you may know there's a gentleman on this island named Jarrell, Dr. Ed Elkin, who's up in Kula now. And I was re- looking at a book, again, an old book, uh, The Handbook for Higher Consciousness by Ken Kyes. And I'm reading the acknowledgments at the beginning for where he got his information and his growth. And he talked about Esalen Institute, Ed Elkin, Ram Das, Timothy Leary, you know, I, I had Elkin here, who um, some people know for years. He's just been around floating for a number of years. He's like in his 80s also now. Um, he was working for the American Institute of Research, investigating for the military, LSD. And he was there and knew intimately uh, Richard Alpert, Ram Das, and Timothy Leary, and Ken Kyes, and... Uh, Fritz Pearls, some of the names that we read about in all these textbooks, uh, we have people that were there and helping in development of a lot of things that a lot of young people and some of us who aren't so young have embraced over the years. We always hope that more of the world would uh, take on the posture to care and love each other and not be so combative. Uh, I was just talking to someone yesterday, and uh, it's hard to not mention Donald Trump. Some people like him. I even like some of the policies that he, he was doing, but he doesn't explain himself well. And some of his decisions about offices of climate change, there's numbers of things that I think he's 100% wrong. And that's when we talk about politics and we all get uncomfortable. But I really still believe that if we would take the time to talk and care about each other, we'd have things moving more smoothly. Like at the council, you know, the rule about the Sunshine Law, more than three people can't get together, or it's uh, considered backroom dealings, uh, you know, but so they don't get together. And uh, I think that some of those council people really need to know each other better. And we all need to know each other better and care more about everyone. And uh, special interests, I don't think, should be part of the picture. Seems to be that it still is. Um, I'm going to play one more song. Now, this one I recorded in 1990 on a keyboard with a, a guy that was writing a book. In fact, he wrote a series of books, Mark Cohen who played keyboard. This is a song, In the Morning Light. If you ever hear me play it on guitar, you'll you'll hear it's not quite like this. Mark put in a jazz feel. Something tells me I'm in love with love And it is you I've been dreaming of When the daylight drifts into dark
That was Mark Cohen. He that was early in the days of synthesizers, keyboards, and uh, I had a the time state of the art and Sonic VFX SD keyboard, and it was a sixteen track recording studio. So Mark was having fun playing all the instruments. He's a talented guy. He has a series of books with his character Shen Ray Z. You might see them out on the the bookstores. Very good series. You know, maybe someday we'll see it as a TV sh series or um, something like that. Could happen. Um, I'm going to play two songs for you, written by uh, Dan Diamond and Peter Dock. But this is uh, mostly, I think, Dan. Dan had a girlfriend at the time. I uh, remember Buddy Hackett. Everyone older and may remember Buddy Hackett was a, a comedian. He was oftentimes on Johnny Carson show. Johnny Carson was before Jay Leno, who was before whoever is now. Who I don't even know who is now. You know, I'm not watching a lot of late night TV. I see some of these guys around on different shows. Anyway, and they wrote a couple of songs. We were in the studio. Uh, Roger Birnbaum is a producer. You see his name on movies now, but he was in the music thing now. And um, we had recorded these, we recorded these couple of songs for Dan and Peter to be singing. And then I ended up singing a couple of the tracks. And so this is what this is. Here's one. Is there something I can say? to try again Is there something I can do that could make you want to stay and throw your foolish pride away and want to try again
Love Me Like It Did Before. I enjoyed singing that. I don't think that was ever released by those guys, so I think that's a beautiful song. We're going to take a break for our sponsors and donors and supporters, and then we'll be back. This is The Neutral Zone on KAKU 88.5 FM. You can find us on Facebook Live, but you can find us at MauiNeutralZone.com and watch all our shows. I think we're up to like 73 or 74 shows. And, um, of course... You can check on YouTube and put in Neutral Zone, Jason Schwartz, Maui, and a whole bunch of stuff comes up. So let's get to uh, our sponsors. The Neutral Zone, with me, Jason Schwartz, would like to thank Maui Arts and Music Association, Tree Makers Foundation of Maui, for their support. Since 1991, with hundreds of television shows and their MauiArtsAndMusic.com website, they have championed self-sustainability on Maui. The Neutral Zone is heard live Mondays at 11 a.m. and replayed Saturday at 7 a.m. on KAKU 88.5 FM, the voice of Maui. The Neutral Zone with me, Jason Schwartz, would like to sincerely thank David Bryan for his support. David was founder and head of school at New Road School in Santa Monica, California, and is the board chair at the Ojai Foundation and on the board for Brave New Films. The Neutral Zone is heard live Mondays at 11 a.m. here on KAKU 88.5 FM, the voice of Maui, and again on Saturdays at 7 a.m., as well as on TV and on MauiNeutralZone.com. Do you have a non-profit event coming up that you would like the public to know about? Is there an important social issue for which you'd like to raise awareness? Akaku can help you get the word out. You can come in and record a one-minute public service announcement for the subject of your choice at no cost to you. Slots are available Mondays and Wednesdays between 1 and 3. Remember, it's free, so call 871-5554 and reserve your spot today. Man, do I love card night. You ready, boys? You got a king? Go, fish that! Oh, come on! <laughs> this is WWE superstar Titus O'Neil. It only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Learn more at 877-4DAD-411 or visit fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Aloha. I'm Amora St. John, inviting you to join me every Friday at 11 a.m. when I'll be talking story to some very gutsy women. Women going for their dreams, women who have children and grandchildren, and the wisdom of the ages. Women who are courageous and filled with spirit. That's Gutsy Women Radio, Fridays at 11 a.m. and replays on Saturdays at 2 p.m. Here on KAKU Radio, 88.5 FM. Wow. I heard me there doing commercials. That's funny. We have been very thankful to have our sponsors. Uh, David Bryan is my little brother. He sure has done a lot of interesting things. He's started a, a school there, New Roads in Los Angeles, for uh, with a good education for people that don't have the money. It was there was a private school, still is, called Crossroads. And the director and he were having a conversation. And so they started a new, new nonprofit, and New Roads now has a new campus. Herb Alpert uh, donated some land and he got contributions and I think they have something like 700 students from uh, from zero to grade 12. So that was really good. Anyway, he's a sponsor. And um, we've had local sponsors like uh, Cash for Gold, Combine Alone, and uh, Noka Oi Motors, Maui Car Rentals. We're very thankful for our sponsors. We hope that this show um, gives you something to think about and something to think about and take action to do some good things. Um, now that last song we played, Love Me Like You Did Before, was Dan writing, and that was, you know, like I said, he was in a relationship. When that relationship was ending, another song came out, and uh, here it is. <laughs>
Bye Bye Baby. Boy, this is bringing up memories for me. I'm seeing people I produced and all kinds of different songs. This was an interesting guy. There was a guy named Michael Condon who was here in Maui, in fact. Um, I don't know if everyone remembers Duke's Rent-A-Car. That's, that's a bit old. But uh, there in the Haina, and there I met Michael, and he played guitar and he wrote some songs. And when we went in the studio, uh, again, this is when I got to sing. This is a fun song to sing. I loved you for so long All I do is wait for you Darling, my feelings are so strong I can't help myself Wow, that's fun. You know, that was found on an old tape. You know, before these current days, there were things like cassettes and uh, eight tracks and things like that. And uh, that song got lost. The end of that got munched in a tape. But I thought, I wanted to play that piece for you. Because I think that's still a great song. There are some great songs that, of course, the world doesn't get to see because they don't get out there. But there's some interesting things that have happened. Now, I'm going to play this song. This isn't me singing. This, I have a friend who's now on Molokai, and probably everyone knows him as uh, for all his Hawaiian, uh, he has old style, uh, Lono. Well, when he was here on Maui, we were friends here on Maui, and he wrote a song that I used as the theme song for our television show, um, Mama Presents. And... Uh, I still think it's a great song. I think it should be a motto now. No matter where you go, no matter, no where matter you what go. you do, take that Maui style with you. Cause if you ain't Maui styling, you just live it on an island. Maui styling, don't let me down. 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 There is sunshine. Start. Lift your head Look to the heaven Then you will feel Brand new again Don't stop me now Maui Stylet Don't let me down 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 Reach out your hand your mother, your father, your sister and brother There is love in this family Pick yourself up and get on your feet Don't stop me now, Maui Stylet Don't let me down, Maui Stylet Don't let me down, Maui Stylet Don't let me down, 
Nakai Balu Stylin Hawaiian Stylin Kie Stylin Mama Mauna Stylin Lahaina Stylin Laula Stylin Napili The six of us, no one left behind We're all winners, no matter what When there is love in your Maui heart Don't stop me now, Maui Stylin' Don't let me down, Maui Stylin' Country style, Kapo style, Kahana Bali style, Hana style, Waihu style, Bahia style. That brings back memories. You know, we've had some really terrific guests on the show over the years. When we did Mama Presents, me and Ariel, we had, I think I'm going to go back to TV, and maybe we'll do radio still. It depends on, um, well, it depends. But um, I think that we had some fun interviewing people, and a lot of those people have gone on and done lots of different things. But... uh, there's a kind of another producer here at, at this station, uh, Todd Swan, who has an extremely extraordinary collection of video showcasing many of the events on Maui for the last 20, even 30 years. I hope Todd will get some more of that out. Well, we still have another 15 minutes, but I'm going to play a couple of songs I want to make sure you hear because I think they're worthwhile to be able to hear these songs. Here's one that Lono wrote that uh, I think it's playing some for weddings, but it could be a theme song for someone's wedding for sure. It's called Then I Do. Mm-hmm. There is no other one What I feel here for you Holding you in my arms Cradle you with my love You're all dressed in white Looking in your eyes Till all the world Tonight I'll be falling You're my shining star From this day I'll be your friend, I'll be by your side Blessed are we this night Shower us with His love Will you be mine tonight? Giving you all my back at our wedding day this band of gold that we will share never ending love 
for all my life than I do. That was fun. That was done in a studio that is no longer here. Renato Guasconi, who moved to Italy with his uh, beautiful wife, Patty, here recently. Renato had a studio in Kihei, and we ended up going in and recording a few songs there at his studio. Boy, we have a, such a terrific island of people and places and people. Um, I'm going to play this song. This song... Well, you'll you'll be able to tell what it is. You can tell that's uh, Mark Cohen on the keyboard. You got me burning with a lump fever. I feel a fire deep inside my soul. I see your face, you're a heavenly. This year, we'll record some of these and some new songs, not only by me, but some of these other artists. I was always looking for more. This is the year we're going to be promoting Maui artists and musicians in a new way, like we talked about. fun demo to do but um, we have players now that I know told me they would love to play that song it would be fun to do with them 
Now this song, before we get off the air, I think I want to play Stardust Road for you. This song, to me, tells a whole movie. By the end, you really get the picture. And uh, it was written a long time ago. When I lived out in the country I used to dream of money and fame So me and my girlfriend Margo Came out to L.A. And while Margo was a waitress And I was a fixing car We kept it all together Pretending we were stars Singing the rock and roll We would go out by the highway To a make-believe place called Stardust Road And we made believe it was spotlights From the cars passing on their way The roar of the engines was our crowd As we got up on the stage Stand and call our names out loud And beg us not to leave And if anyone could see We gave them a memory To last for ever Well now Margo is in the movies And my album has just gone gold Phone's been ringing off the wall And I can't find time alone So when Margo's tired of interviews And I can't sing another song We go back out to the highway To the place we still call Stardust The trees are full of people calling for us to begin And we played all night so that highway crowd kept calling us back again Yes, we do our show on Stardust Road Because it keeps us free And if anyone can see We give them a memory to last
as it was playing, I realized that was a rough mix. I don't know if you could hear in the background, there was 16 string players on it. Those were really good days uh, long ago. This was before Star is Born. I think it's interesting. The guy that wrote the, the string parts, Tom Chase, had just gotten out of Dick Grove Music School, and he wanted to write, and he used this as a chance to do his writing. And then he went on and met Barbara Streisand and... Uh, and taught her to play guitar, and the chords he used of the song of Evergreen. Isn't that a very funny thing to say? But that's what it was. We are out of time. I hope you've enjoyed me and having some fun here with Memory Lane. 2020 is just around the corner, and we hope that 2020 is great for you. We hope it's great for all of us, and that we can all come together in love and peace and cooperation. I think that's going to be the answer. We're all going to work together to solve our problems and issues to make this a better world. I know that's our goal. I hope that's your goal. Thank you for joining us. We will see you again next week at the Neutral Zone. Aloha, everyone. <laughs>